Hey guys, welcome back to show. So today we're in Kingsport at? Purple Cow. You know the address? 1648 East Stone Drive. So this was recommended by Charles Raymond Fox. Is that right? That is correct. Hey, I love your name. By the way, thank you so much. Yes. Uh, we would have never heard of the Purple Cow if it hadn't been for you. So we came up here. Uh, we've actually already ordered. Uh, let's get some pictures and then we'll show you what all we ordered and what we think. Y'all ready? Yes. All right. Alright guys, so we just got done eating at the Purple Cow. Uh, first impressions? It was very tiny <laughs> and very purple. Alright, so my first impression is an article that I read, which we'll get into right after all this food. Uh, it's a very tantalizing story. Uh, we'll get to that very shortly. Uh, what did everybody order? I had chicken tenders with ketchup. And I had the deluxe cheeseburger with onion rings. And I had the steak balm. Uh, who wants to talk about the food first? Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that I got the purple shake. Um, so oh, yeah, and the purple shake. I'm going to talk about it. So, basically, it was, it was pink. <laughs> it was pink. It's still purple. It's pink. It's purple. It's pink. You be a judge. Purple, pink. It's pink. Ooh, that's very light. Uh, tell you what, <laughs> I have a video clip of that. Here. Is that purple or is that pink? It's pink. Anyways, it's pink. so the purple shake, what was it flavored? Uh, it just tastes sweet to me with like a hint <laughs> of vanilla. I tasted it and it was vanilla and I think it was hinted with a little bit of grape, but I'm not for sure. Could be cotton candy, but yeah. I don't know. For me, candy. it just tasted like vanilla. Uh, I didn't get any other flavor. I tried to not look at the color because sometimes color can trick your eye into thinking that there's a flavor there. Uh, so I did ask what the purple shake flavor was and they say it's a purple cow secret. <laughs> so the world may never know. All right, God so knows. chicken chicken tenders. <laughs> All right, so the chicken tenders, they were fresh, they were hot, they were crispy on the outside and there was chicken on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a perk for yeah. chicken tenders. I really like the chicken tenders. I thought they had a really good flavor to them. They were juicy. And you? My deluxe cheeseburger was... Oh, I thought you were going to say about your chicken tenders. Oh, well, they were fantastic, too, so... All right, cheeseburger. I like, I like the breading on it. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so, the, the cheeseburger deluxe was super sloppy <laughs> and good and very tasty, and the onion rings were spot on. They were thick. They were hand braided. I loved them. So, did you like the cheeseburger? Yeah. What was all on your cheeseburger? It was deluxe. It had everything. It's well, like the kitchen sink thrown onto a, a, a burger. It looked really good. It had pickles, onions, lettuce, cheese. Yeah. Uh, bacon? No, no bacon. So it didn't have everything. Aww. <laughs> Alright, so I had the Philly steak and cheese bomb. The giant. The giant. The giant. So this is 13 or $14. It is a foot long sandwich. A foot long sandwich, y'all. We were having a crazy day. It's a foot long sandwich. It was uh, really, really good. Mm -hmm. So it had peppers, uh, bacon, tomatoes, cheese, mm -hmm. and Philly steak, uh, all on a hoagie bun. I really liked it, but I will say this: the bread was a little on the soggy side. Uh, I don't know if it was just because it was all wrapped up and it steamed a little bit. Mm -hmm. We did eat it directly after the drive-through, yes. so it's not like we drove all the way home and ate it. Uh, so it was a little on the soggy side, eh, but it was really good. I did like it. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else did we order? Um, I think it was everything, wasn't it? Yes. yes okay. So uh, would we go back? Mm -hmm. No. No? Because <laughs> it's kind of like a, like a drive from our house. Yeah. I think if we were in the area, we would. Um, My thoughts exactly. Yeah. Exactly what I was going to say. I, I think I would love to try more of their stuff. Their yes. menu was astronomical. So <laughs> I, like, I, couldn't I will see. say this. <laughs> Uh, I did not want the cheeseburger at first because I wanted the wings and they did not have any wings. So. Yeah, uh, she was going to get wings and there, you know, shortages everywhere, you yeah. know, things happen. Yeah. Uh, I will say this. I 
at the end of the video we'll show we'll try to show the entire menu uh is very extensive yes. it's yes. a very 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 large menu I didn't know what for to such choose. a small business <laughs> We really did enjoy ourselves. Mm -hmm. I would love to go back and try it again. Yes. It is quite a drive for us, but I think it'd be worth trying some other stuff. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you like food, fun, adventure, make sure you like and subscribe. We're slowly eating our way through East Tennessee. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon below, and you'll get more videos like this, maybe even better. <laughs> God loves you, so do we. <laughs> Bye, y'all. All right, guys. Till next time. Palm Beach County prosecutors and sheriff's investigators joined the sheriff of Washington County, Virginia in announcing the arrest of Sheila Keen Warren, seen here smiling in her booking photo. Cases that have been a number of years, even decades, and we work in collaboration um, on all of them and try to find justice for those victims. The murder of Marlene Warren happened in May of 1990 in Wellington's exclusive Aero Club community, the homes encircling a landing strip. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office says Keene, the mistress of the victim's husband, was a suspect early on, but there was never enough evidence to charge her. The Sheriff's cold case detectives took a new look three years ago. The Sheriff's Office says investigators reconnected with witnesses and conducted additional DNA analysis. They also learned Keene had married victim Marlene Warren's husband. Keene was arrested tonight at home in Washington County, Virginia. The couple runs a fast food restaurant called The Purple Cow in Tennessee. These are screen grabs from the restaurant's Facebook page. Taken of another person's life, it's a horrific incident. It uh, just took us 27 years to bring closure to, this, to the victim's family. Murder cases never go away. They never go away.